Do you know how you can turn your models from this to this with a single click? Or how to generate 3D models with just words or images? If so, then today I have a great tool for you. This tool can leverage AI power to turn any model to texture with only a few words. Not only that, this AI can also convert any image to 3D. And if this is not enough, it can turn text description into 3D as well. This video is brought to you by Meshi AI. Good day folks, I hope you are doing well. So Meshi is a 3D generative AI toolbox that allows you to effortlessly create 3D assets from text or images, accelerating your 3D workflow, which is just fantastic. From what I can see, Meshi lets you create high quality textures and 3D models in just minutes. The tool is honestly great, but there is more to it than we can see on the cover. Powered by the latest advances in AI and machine learning technologies, it was built for designers, artists, and developers. So this should be right down your alley if you are a game developer, creative coder, or a 3D artist in general, because Meshi can help you create 3D assets pretty quickly. Meshi actually has a web app, which we'll be showcasing in this video, and stick till the end to see how you can use this AI inside Blender which is just interesting, so let's see. The first feature in my humble opinion is the best of the bunch. AI texturing feels like a cheat. All you need to do is describe the texture that you want and the tool will automatically generate color textures along with PBR maps like metalness, roughness and normals. Personally, I think this is the tool I'm gonna use the most. All you need is a 3D model and a description. You can input your description under the style section and you can even input a negative prompt which is optional but it gives you the ability to describe what you want to exclude in the generation process for example a color material or texture type you can also pick an art style since there are seven in total which are realistic 2.5d cartoon japanese anime cartoon line art realistic hand drawn 2.5d hand drawn and Oriental Comic Ink. So you have quite a versatile range of styles that you can pick from. AI texturing can also help you generate UVs for your models. And while it's recommended to use the model's original UVs for better generation, you can untick the use of original UVs, which is an option. Another great thing to see here is the option to generate PBR maps. So you can generate additional maps like metal, roughness and normals, or you can also generate just the color. And we'll try to use this to texture a scene in Blender using Meshi AI Blender add-on. Things like this can help you speed up your work and build your scenes quicker than ever before. But let's first check out Texture 3D and Image to 3D. Now, for Texture 3D, which is way more ambitious than AI texturing, the AI will attempt to create a 3D model based on your description. Think of Midjourney, but instead of an image output, it is a 3D model. So similar to texturing, you will have a text prompt field where you can describe the model that you want to generate in 500 letters. You can describe your shape, color, size, style, and other attributes. And similar to the text generator, you also have an optional negative prompt to exclude anything from the generation process. And once you hit generate, you will be offered for variations that you can refine which will cost you about 20 credits. To be honest, I tried to generate a photorealistic character multiple times. However, I don't think it goes well with realistic models. More stylized characters, assets, and props are generated fully. But for a hyper-realistic character, you will most likely get only a face or upper body. The results are generally speaking decent, and I can see this having the most room for improvement as time goes on. For example, I would like to be able to generate a Batman model with one click, which I hope is not too ambitious. I mentioned credits earlier. This is a good time to talk about pricing. When you hit generate on any tools, whether it be AI texturing, texture to 3D, or image to 3D, this will cost you credits. Credits like currency that you use to perform different generation processes. In the case of texture 3D, refining a model will cost you 20 credits. 
Pricing in Meshi is somewhat affordable, in my opinion. You can start using it for free with a free account, so no credits are needed, and you can just sign up with an email and get 200 credits per month, which will give you API access and a shared server, among other stuff. The rest is two monthly plans for 20 and 60 bucks, which will give you 1,000 and 4,000 credits per month, respectively. Now, if you decide to be billed yearly, you can save up to 20% with the monthly plan, only costing 16 and 48 bucks, respectively. Also, if you want to purchase extra credits, 200 credits will cost you four dollars. Finally, we have Image 3D. This one allows you to generate 3D models based on images. The results are very promising, to be honest. And I feel like every day, AI is getting closer and closer to taking my job. Which reminds me of that AI meme, when you realize that AI can take your job. For the input image, it is better to use a front view of the object that you are trying to generate. With a white or monochrome background and no text or details. And it goes without saying that it is best to only have one single subject in your image. This one also works really well and it looks really promising or threatening depending on your perspective. Now that we know what Meshi AI is capable of, let's see how we can use it inside Blender. So Meshi has an add-on for Blender that you can download for free. So download the zip file and install it, similar to how you can install any other Blender add-on. However, after the installation, if you expand the add-on settings, you will find an empty field labeled API key. We're gonna need this key to link an add-on to the Meshi AI server. And to get the key, you have to sign up and create an account for free. Now, go to the Meshi AI website, sign up, and log in to your account. Once you log in, go to Settings, and then API. Here you can click on Create API Key, give it a name, and hit Create. Now you can copy the key and paste it into the add-on settings. And now you can use Meshi inside the Blender. You can find the add-on in the end panel of your 3D viewport. It only includes 3D texturing for now. And the way it works is very similar to the web app. You have an object, style, and negative prompts. And you have options to enable original UVs and enable PBR. And finally, a drop down with all the art styles available. For example, I have here in my scene a wooden barrel. So I will input wooden barrel on the object prompt. On the style prompt, I will type wooden barrel, old, 4K, highest quality. In addition to maybe redwood, etc. And just try to describe your texture with as much detail as possible. I'm gonna enable PBR and use original UVs and set the style to realistic. Finally, click submit task. The model is now getting processed on the cloud. And once the processing is done, it won't be available for download. To check the progress, you can click Refresh Task List to see all the tasks and which one is done. Now you can click Download and the textured object will be placed on top of the old one. And you can delete the old mesh. And if you jump to the Shader Editor, you will see that all the maps are already set up automatically for you, like Roughness, Metallic, Normals, and so on. As you can see, it is very easy to use, and it is very fast to set up, and you can take advantage of Meshi AI not only in Blender, but in Unity and other 3D software as well, because they all have very good integration with most of major 3D software. So if you like what you see, and you want to try Meshi AI for free, you can find the links in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.